YouTube! Today we're going to be doing the Back to School Survival Guide for Freshmen. And I feel like a lot of people, a lot of freshmen need to know these things. I know there are millions of Back to School Survival Guides out there. But this one is my own and I kind of put my little own touch into it. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started. But before that, I'm going to say eat breakfast. I know you like, but I don't, some people don't like to eat breakfast in the morning. I don't care. I will eat a full-blown meal in the morning time because I, I love to eat, okay? I love food. So what you want to do is eat something like a granola bar maybe or an apple or a banana because that is just going to like set your whole day. Like how you feel in the morning time, that's how it's going to be the whole day. So you don't want to be tired and out of energy by first period and all like, I wish I ate and then everybody's all quiet and then your stomach's growling and be like, dang, she don't eat at home. Okay, so on the first day of your ninth grade year, what you want, what you really want to do is to make a good impression on all of your teachers. That is like the single most important thing that is going to last you your whole school year. Because teachers look a lot in students and their personalities. So if you're acting up the first day and you're clowning around and just not paying attention and not following the rules the first day, then... At the end of the school year, maybe you have a C and you really hope you got a B, but they're not going to give you that point. So go ahead and make the best impression you can on your teacher. Be nice to them. Teacher's pet, um, that's me, but still. Um, it really helps you at the end of the school year and everything with your grades. When everybody else is all acting bad and stuff, the teacher's not going to pass them if they have a 59. They're not going to get that one extra point to get a D to pass. So just make a good impression on your teachers. Bring back all the papers that your teachers give you on the first day, the next day. Because that is going to be like, okay, teachers look at that as, okay, they actually listen to what I just said. Bring your papers back the next day. And sometimes teachers grade those papers, so they'll give you a grade for just bring your papers back. So don't wait till a month after they've given them to you to turn in your papers and they're like, really? That's going to show what kind of student you are. So go ahead and turn in your papers. I'm just saying, this is really important. Like, people still do this. And I'm a junior now, so just make sure you turn your papers in. In the next day okay for lunch um, lunch can be kind of scary because you don't know who you're gonna sit with or anything like that so what I would suggest doing is make sure that okay this is what I would do if you talk to somebody in your like first period or second period class and like I'm always like can I see your schedule or hey can I see your schedule like that so and then you see their schedule and be like cool we have the same lunch so you can like well, do you want to sit with me at lunch, or can I sit with you at lunch, so that way you don't have to worry about it when lunchtime comes, so you don't have to look, be all in, like, the sky, be all like, oh my gosh, where am I going to sit, where am I going to sit? Mm. So you already know, because you've already asked ahead of time, so you're like, woo, you don't have to worry about it, okay? And my next tip is be nice to the smart kids. Don't be mean to the smart kids, because those kids will not help you for nothing if you are mean to them. So be nice to them. Like, I'm the smart kid because I'm really smart and I don't like helping people anyway. But be nice to them because if you share with them and be nice with them, then they're going to help you. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I don't understand, they'll explain it to you and you'll be like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Or if you're going to cheat, look for that person who you are nice to. So be nice to all of the smart kids, okay? Do not be mean to them because they're not going to like you. Okay, I kind of just threw this one in here, but don't tell anybody you have gum or candy. Because if you tell somebody, they're going to tell somebody, and then everybody's going to know and going to want some. And you're going to be like, out of gum and candy. So don't tell anybody that you have it if you want to keep it, because you're not going to have any more. So this is to help you if you have gum or candy. Don't tell anyone. My next tip is to wear what makes you comfortable. So if you feel comfortable in heels, then wear heels or wedges. I prefer wedges um, if you're going to wear wedges to school. Just because they're a little bit easier to walk in. And in my school, we have stairs for years. So you're probably going to be like, <sighs> if out of breath, if you do decide to wear heels. <clears throat> but if you're used to that kind of walking and stuff, go ahead, wear heels. Um, but if you like wearing skirts and dresses to school, then wear skirts and dresses because that's you. So be you and wear what you're comfortable with. Okay. Know that people talk about you just because. They may not have any specific reason to you personally. They just talk maybe because you're pretty. Or maybe because you have something that they like. Like maybe you have a nice purse. Or maybe something that you, like your shoes are expensive or something. I don't know. People talk about you just because. Maybe they find you a threat. So to make that threat, they talk about you. Whatever. Like to boost themselves up, they talk about you. Or joke about you, whatever. But just brush it off. Like just brush it off. Like, oh, okay. Like, don't even care. Like, I've never been bullied or anything, but just be know that people are going to talk about you. Everybody's not going to like you. So just go ahead and just be like, okay, 
and walk away. I promise you, they're not going to mess with you any longer if you just do not care. If you feel like if they know that you care, then it's going to be like, they're gonna you're going to make an easy target for them. So just do not care. Like, even if you really do care, show them that you don't care. Like, don't care. Don't procrastinate and be organized. Okay. I am the hugest procrastinator ever. I will wait to the day of to do something. And usually that will be my best work. But that's just because I don't know how my brain's set up like that. But it just is. So I don't want you guys to do that. Because sometimes I feel rushed and I'm crying because I can't get it. But I get it at that last moment before class whatever. So just don't procrastinate because it will save you a lot of time and a lot of energy. And you'll feel so much better to know that you actually did it before time. So you don't have to worry about that later at the end of the day. And stay organized because... Um, Again, I'm the most unorganized person ever, but having a planner in my life helps me so much, though. So, this one is from Walmart, and it's just a 2013-14, to 14, and it's by the C-Studio. I love this planner. Um, I track everything in here. Like, already I have a lot of stuff in here. So, yeah. And I have, like, everything. I've already even had, like, like essays and stuff do so. This helps me so much. I track everything in here. So if you're like me and you're not very organized, get yourself a planner. They're really like small. So it's kind of like, it's really small. Um, and it's easy to keep up with. And they have smaller planners if you don't like this kind of one. But I like cute stuff. So yeah. Okay, lockers. Everybody doesn't really need a locker, but they help a lot. Let's say you have like five books. Because I know I have like three books that my teachers have given me. I have my math, my science, history, and all those books. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually have four books. So, you don't want to lug all those books to class because some teachers are like, I want you to have this book this day, this day, whatever. You're going to need a locker, okay? I love my locker personally because it's decorated so pretty. And I, I just know, I, I'm a nerd, okay? And I like my stuff to be pretty. It has carpet in it. And it has, a lo it has locker rugs in it. The little shelf thingy. It has a little chandelier on top. Pencil holders, and I even have electronic pencil sharpener in my locker. And people, people actually stop by my locker and take pictures. They're like, "Oh my gosh, I want to take a picture of your locker." And people are like, "OMG!" And people be like, "Oh my gosh, this is the locker I saw on Instagram because this girl uploaded a picture of my locker." And everybody's like, "I saw your locker on Instagram." And I'm like, "Oh, my locker is famous. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh." So yeah, it's an also a great place to hold your like to hold your lunch and stuff because school lunch is just nasty. Okay, it's nasty. Not all the time, but sometimes you're not gonna but always like it. It's a nice like place it. to hold your like your drinks and your snacks and your lunch to like lunchtime. It's just a great place for that, just because it's nice and spacious in there. Like your food, or whatever, or unthaw if you have like a sandwich that's like really cold that you prepared the night before. So it'd be like perfect temperature before lunch. And like if you have drinks, whatever that you've frozen. Like the night before, it'd be like halfway unthawed by lunch so that way you can drink it. Lockers are important, okay? That's it. Lockers are important. <laughs> okay, now these are going to be my serious advice questions. Okay, So let's talk about upperclassmen. So you're like, oh my gosh, you're a freshman and this upperclassman likes me. He's a senior. Oh my gosh, I'm so special. No, okay? No. No. Seniors really want one thing from younger girls, especially in high school. So I tell you to stay away from seniors and like juniors and stuff like that, because I don't want to. Got, I don't want you guys to get hurt or anything. And plus, they're a lot older than you, so they know a lot more than you probably do, or than you think you do, because you think you know everything. Like I know I did when I was that age, but you really don't. So just stay away from like the upperclassmen. Not saying you can't be friends with them. But I wouldn't try to rush into a relationship with an upperclassman just because you're a freshman. Just just think about it. This is what you need to ask them. Okay, you're a senior, whatever. Why are you talking to me? I'm a freshman. Bye. And again, to like what I just said, don't give in to peer pressure. Peer pressure can be sex, drugs, or doing things you don't want to do, going to a party where you don't want to go, whatever. Don't do it. Like, just don't. Don't do it. No. No. I know you're like, oh my gosh, but if I don't, I'm going to be lame. Nobody cares. Like, after high school, none of this stuff is even going to matter anymore. The people who are cool in high school are probably going to be stupid. Like, honestly, what kind of jobs are they going to have? So, your biggest priority is to focus on your schoolwork and make good grades. I promise you that is the single most important thing in high school. 
I'm um, in sports too. If you like really like like I can't even talk. Okay. If you're like really into sports, start your sports in high school so that way you can get like sports scholarships and stuff like that. But the ultimate goal is making good grades and keep that as your top priority because that determines what kind of college you want to get into so if you do really bad and you just have fun and think high school is just a joke then once it gets senior year and you notice that you haven't been doing so well a lot of colleges aren't going to be looking at you so make school your most important priority my biggest tip ever is to be yourself I know that it's hard to say because during this age you're kind of like probably finding yourself whatever well, myself, I'm really creative and I like to make people laugh because I'm funny and stuff like that. I'm funny, super funny. So, yeah. Just be yourself. Whatever you think yourself is, be that. Um, don't try to copy or anything what everybody else is doing. Be original because nobody wants a copycat to be their friend. And you'll be liked more for being yourself. And people like me because I'm weird and that I'm funny and I make them laugh. So, that's me because I'm weird, okay? That's me. Okay. Avoid the drama. Drama will keep you into mess and it will bring you down. The biggest thing, the best thing to do is to avoid it. If a girl start is trying to like, well, no, 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 just tell her, save that. Well, don't say it like that. Just be like, no. Like, I don't even care. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, if you if a girl comes to you talking about a boy or whatever, like, I like him and you're all with my man or something, like, you can have him. I don't care. School is my important priority. School is what I care about. I don't care about dudes right now. You can have him, okay? Do you. Do you. Just tell her do her, okay? Tell her leave you alone. And the last thing I want to say to you guys is just relax and have fun. High school is not this big mean place where everybody hates each other. It's really fun, and especially when your friends are around. So just make new friends, have fun, and just relax. Like, be chill. But don't not too chill when you don't do your work, okay? Just chill and relax, especially if you have, like, study hall or stuff. Make sure you study. Studying is also a big important thing because it helps you so much. That was my freshman <laughs> tips, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, so leave comments down below, or tell me what was your favorite tip about the video, so go ahead and down below, tell me what was your favorite tip that I said in the video, and if you have any more questions, or I didn't answer all your questions, just leave a comment below, and I will definitely reply back to your question, I promise you I'll reply back to your question if you have one, so thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, bye.